beauties and welcome back to I Am Beautiful Hustler TV. Today I'll be showing you guys how I do my new ball cap method. And I will also be showing you guys my full Beautiful Hustler brand line. Um, I do have a new product that I'm going to show you guys. And I also have a new product that I will be releasing soon later on after this whole coronavirus mess. Stop messing up the business. Okay. Okay. So with that being said, first things first, before I get into this ball cap, I want to show you guys all of my products so of course um you guys already know that we have released uh the larger lace milk adhesive and this is the regular size original version now the bigger version which is 60 milliliters is um 35 dollars and the original size is only 15 dollars and this glue is waterproof sweat resistant and all of the above so um pretty much it's like when i restock guys you have to purchase immediately because i am literally sold out like less than 12 hours of releasing my products like people really be waiting like stuff in cart ready to go so when i release my products guys i know you guys you know you probably can't tune in as quickly or you know get the notification and everything like that but you can if you turn on your bells and also your notifications on my instagram um on the beautiful hustler brand page as well as my beautiful hustler page and of course youtube but uh nevertheless this is the big bottle of lace mail and this is the smaller bottle so the glues that everybody's going crazy about now as you already know after releasing the glue a lot of people ask me on how to remove and um you know remove your lace uh safely so now that i have some lace release and this is the official uh, lace melt remover for excuse me guys for your um lace wig installations i have remover now so you guys can safely uh, remove your lace installations and this is a oil based remover so um it'll just like come off like i will do a remover tutorial you guys have been asking me like crazy it is coming be patient it is coming now as a new product to go in combination with the lace release i now have what you call lace prep so let me go ahead and show you the lace prep beautiful hustlers lace prep and this is the dirt and oil remover and it is 99 percent isopropyl um isopropyl which is a fancy word for alcohol i now have my own 99 percent alcohol that goes in combination with the lace release so when you are removing your lace and as i mentioned i will do a tutorial for you you want to go in with your lace release first to remove um you know to safely remove your lace installation and then once you finish um you know combing out your glue and everything like that before you begin to do your new lace installation you must use your lace prep and as i mentioned this is a 99 percent alcohol the beautiful hustler brand lace prep dirt and oil remover and this bottle is, is ten dollars as well and i will have a combination of course as your lace um, releasing system and um pretty much you want to do this use this um alcohol before doing your new installation and that will remove any extra oils and dirt that's still in the skin from removing your previous um install and i do have the instructions in the back as well so when you guys do purchase uh the lace prep on the next um my next restock and everything like that this will be the new product that is there also of course you guys already know about the glam wax the beautiful hustle glam wax you can use this on your natural leave out and i do have um natural leave out tutorials coming um i did one recently on my sister everybody went crazy they like oh my god we miss leave out leave out leave out leave out so i will do more installations and you know the glam wax is for many different reasons um you can use it on a natural leave out you can use it to uh, get the roots of your laces like really crisp to the teeth so i will do a video on different ways to use the glam wax as well and we added some black because you know the original melt belt is pink but i went ahead and added some black so these do get dirty after a few uses you can wash it but if you're a person who don't like to wash i also now have the black ones um right now i am not doing the words on the melt belt because i'm trying to find a different company that can stitch everything in for me versus 
the um, you know heat transfer and everything like that because it can uh, peel and everything like that and to come you know avoid complaints from customers I just put that on hold so if you did order recently and it's not no words it will not be no words um, until further notice until I find a perfect stitching company that can stitch the words onto these but this is the new colors black and pink black and pink black and pink it's a brand thing um also we now have the two type of edge brushes and spreaders now these are the spreaders that i will use um i will do it in this uh tutorial following of this video as well as doing a ball cap after we begin today after all it is but um we do now have the double-sided edge brush with a rat tail comb and you can pretty much use this for parting the rat tail, um, you know, pulling down your baby hairs and then you have your edge brush side, do your baby hairs. And the spreader as well to spread your lace glue so it's nice and even. It's better than using the rat tail comb. I also use the rat tail to get those little creases under the wig that um, this part here cannot fit under. So it's like many uses you can use your brush from and all brushes will come in black pink or white that is all the brand color so i'm just showing you if you get a black one or a pink one or a white one it's not that you got the wrong thing i am trying to expand the brand colors well not really expand because it's still all black pink and white so these are the new brushes um and now what i'm bringing back since i'm trying to bring back the leave out i am relaunching my beautiful hustler glamorous edges um edge control it will have a new packaging and everything i'm just retesting my formula making sure everything is perfect it does last long um and that will be relaunching soon later on after this whole as i mentioned corona mess but now that I showed you guys all of the existing products and the new products that are soon to come or will be at the next restock, let's get into this new ball cap. Now, usually I use the, um, you know, the regular stocking cap or whatever, but they are a little bit thicker. So, you know, as a YouTuber, beauty influencer, hairstylist, blah, 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 um, it's my job to bring you guys the new techniques and, you know, you guys can do it on yourself or whatever the case is. So, for your clients. So, right now, I will be using a toupee, and that's the color. And this is a ultra sheer pantyhose. So, what a lot of people is doing now is buying pantyhose and cutting it because it's way thinner than a stocking cap. Um, the quality of stocking caps are getting really, really thick, and it's harder to blend um, underneath the lace. Especially if you have, like, HD lace and stuff like that. It's super, super hard to blend. So, I decided to show you guys the method with the ultra sheer pantyhose. So, I'm going to go ahead and get into that. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and open up the pantyhose and show you what it looks like. And you do want to try to get um, the color that matches closest to your skin tone. But as you can see, it's very, very thin. So, when I do actually put it on my head, it will be, like, really not noticeable. But before I even get into um, putting this on... It does come like, you know, two legs, of course, because it is a pantyhose. But let me show you guys how I like to do it. I like to just take the scissors and cut um, it right at the thigh part. So it's like a leg. Now, it's one leg, but you can use this multiple times. All you will have to do is you just take the pantyhose. And my nails are really, really sharp, so I'm trying not to poke any holes in it. And I'm going to put it on my head all the way down like this and you see how thin it will be once i actually blend it and then once you get all the cap you need you just want to take your scissors and cut the extra off you can sew this top part down you can leave it open it's up to you i'm doing it on myself i'm going to leave it open but that's just a little rough draft but now i'm going to actually get into showing you guys what i do and my new whole ball cap method so um i'm going to shut up now and get into the video now, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and take my lace prep. I just removed my birthday hairdo. I had 34 inches. I did not do an installation, but I will do a reinstallation because I'm going to do a highlighting video for you guys. But right now, I'm just going to take a cloth. You can use a cotton pad cloth, whichever you like, but I'm going to use a cloth because it's just easier for me. And I'm just going to take my Beautiful Hustle Lace Prep, and this will release with the, uh, the next launch of my um, lace glue, the next restock. And 
Um, before, I'm just going to read the instruction for you guys. Before applying your lace mitt adhesive, thoroughly clean your skin with lace prep to ensure all dirt and oils have been removed from your skin. Repeat step one twice, especially if lace release was used. Now, you repeat step one, which is spraying and cleaning if you use the lace release because you want to make sure you get all of that oil out. Make sure it's no oil or dirt left in your hair or your lace whip will not stick. That's very, very important, guys. So um, once you do that, you can proceed to use your lace mitt adhesive, whether you're using the small bottle or the big bottle. Use 37 layers, it's up to you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, you can do it two ways. You can spray it directly onto your skin or you can spray it on the cloth. I'm just gonna spray it right on my hairline. And I'm just going to take my cloth. And because I do have on makeup, I wanna make sure that I really get all of that makeup off. It's weird to spray with my left hand. So at this point, I'm just gonna spray on the damn cloth. But I'm just gonna spray it right there. Spray as much as you need to get it nice and soaked. It's a spray bottle. And just proceed to clean the hairline. And as you can see, that makeup is getting off of my skin in this area here. And you just want to see there goes that makeup and you just want to continue to do that until your whole um hairline area is clean so i'm just going to keep applying more and anywhere you feel like your lace is going to lay make sure you clean that area and if anything you can always go back in and just apply your foundation to whatever you know needs to be touched up All right, so now that I have all of that cleaned up, I still have a lot in my bottle, so it doesn't really take that much. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my wax tail comb as well as some bed head, and I'm gonna spray the bed head across my hairline just to make sure I get all of my edges laid down, okay? So let me get to it. And I like to take my blow dryer on the heat setting and blow dry. Okay, so now that all my hairs have been blow dried back, laid down, I'm gonna go ahead and take the pantyhose once again. Oh no, where's the leg that I cut? Oh, here it is, guys. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take the pantyhose and starting from where I cut, I'm just gonna go ahead and scoop it from the back. Wait, but first, let me, let me see, you guys, to see. This is what happens when you just leave your hair in wigs. It just grows, 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 okay? But I'm gonna go ahead and plait the ends of my braids down. It's so hard, my guys. My nails are so long, you guys. So I'm just gonna plait all of my braids down together as one, make it easier when I put on my ball cap. And now I'm gonna take the pantyhose and scooping it from the back while pushing that braid kind of under. And I'm gonna bring the lace, well, the lace, <laughs> bring the stocking up over my ears like so. And as you can see, it's way, way thinner than using a stocking cap. But now that I have enough, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my scissors and boom cut that extra off so now i have enough to do more um pantyhose caps on my clients so it's 
you will probably save more money because this well when i have when i bought it from the hair store it's only 179 for a pack and you can literally make at least with both legs at least up to six to seven ball caps so it does save you some money versus buying caps for you know every time you go using buying a cap i'm using two only get to do two clients with one pack you could do at least seven if you buy the pantyhose but now that i have it over my ear i'm just going to go ahead and slip where my ear is so i can take my ear out of sight um you know cut my ears out so it doesn't be extra or stuck and everything like that and i'm going to do the same thing to the other side just make a little slit because you know when you rip stockings it already does like a whole run type of thing so i'm just going to pull this down over my eyebrows just a little bit so i can make sure that you know i do whatever now you can do this one or two ways you can just take your holding spray go ahead and spray and mold everything down to your liking but this is a new ball cap method and i actually got one of this um this idea from um another youtuber named khadijah um she reviewed my lace glue or whatever like that and i seen her do the ball cap like this so i'm going to take um one of this the spread stick with the end on the spread brush and i'm going to use one layer of my beautiful hustler lace mail and i'm just going to apply that across the hairline and then once I do that, I will go in with some holding spray on top of it and then cut off the extra lace. And it just really, really gets your ball cap, like, down. You hear me? It gets it really, really down. So, I'm going to go ahead, like I mentioned, and take the lace milk and just apply it across the hairline. And you just want to bring it on both sides all the way. Okay. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and spread it. So I'm gonna spray the holding spray on top. And taking the spreader. Spraying it out. Be careful when you spraying, guys. I'm clearly spraying with my left hand like a brewery. But yeah, use the hand that you write with. That way you don't get extra holding spray like in these areas where it has no business being like me. And now the next step is to just blow dry all of that in. Okay, so now that everything is all blow dry, I'm gonna go ahead and take my scissors and cut off the extra stocking. And this is the area where I say be careful because I just got extra makeup. Oh, and it hurts, guys. So just be careful when you um you peel my makeup completely off. Ain't that crazy? But yeah. Do that step when you add the holding spray neatly and don't be an a-hole like me and that way you won't, what happened to me won't happen to you. Okay, that's why I'm here for the trial and error. Okay, and be sure to cut the extra lace from around the ear. Keep saying lace, the extra cap, stocking, whatever. Same thing to the other side. And you can either tuck in the extra cap in the back or, you know, 
cut it off. It's up to you. I just usually leave it. So I need to fill in my makeup right here. But other than that, it is completely flat. So the next step I'm going to do is take my Ruby Kisses foundation as well as I'm using level 15. My Ruby Kisses foundation and my makeup brush and I'm using level 15. So I'm just going to go ahead and open that up. And... Second. Right, so it has a lighter shade and a darker shade. So I'm first I'm probably gonna use the and let me just try the lighter shade first. Oh, it actually matches my makeup, so let me fit that little spot in right there. Actually, it doesn't match it now. I feel like an asshole, but I'm gonna take the darker shade and begin to paint over not paint but at the foundation on top of the front of this. Um, stocking stuff. So using a darker shade, I'm just rubbing that right across the top. Yeah, so now that you have applied your foundation on top, and I'm going to go ahead and remove that little piece of um, light makeup because it's really annoying me now. So once I come back and I wipe that little piece off, I will show you guys the finishing look. Okay, so now that I went and fixed that spot, here is the final look for the ball cap. So now when I slip my wig on, it is super blended is flat no pieces are lifting how it usually would if you would use the um other type of material the regular wig cap method but that is the new method that i do i do that one layer of glue and that one layer of that holding spray and it gets me super molded down so if i take a step back it's a bald head scatting wig so yeah um Stay tuned for the actual installation of the wig. This is just a quick little ball cap video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you guys for tuning in. Deuces.